Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Get Started video guide. In this part, you will learn how to add a booking, manage bookings, and create an invoice once the booking is completed. So let's get started. To add a booking, go to the duties section and click on add booking. Once the page loads, select your customer from the drop down menu. Next, go ahead and enter in the booker's details. In case you need to add additional contacts to the booking that need to be notified about the booking and its details, click on add additional contacts and enter in their details. You can then go ahead and enter in the passenger's details. In case you have multiple passengers, simply click on add another passenger and you will get the option to enter in their details. Next. Select the from city and the to city from the drop down menus. In case this is a local booking, you do not need to select any details in the to city. After this, go ahead and select the vehicle group and the duty type. Next, enter in the duty start date and the duty end date. You can create single day and multi day bookings by selecting the end date accordingly. In case you have a multi day local booking, select the end date accordingly and the system will create a duty for each of the booking days. Next, enter in the reporting time and the garage start time. As a default setting, the garage start time is set to 60 minutes. You can change this as per your requirement. Now type in the reporting address and the drop address as per the duty details. You can add the addresses in the Google address format or as a manual address. If this is a garage to garage booking, select the dispatch center. In case this is a point to point booking, you do not need to select any dispatch centers. Next, you can manually enter in the pricing or click on Get Price to automatically enter the pricing from the master section. If you need to add notes that are visible to your driver, supplier or customer, you can do so in the Remarks section. In the Operator Notes section, you can add notes that are only visible to you. If you need to add a label to this booking, you can do so in the label section. Once you click on book, a booking is created and you will see the send confirmation pop-up window. From this pop-up, you can send the confirmation email and SMS to the customer, the booker and the passengers. Once done, click on close. Your booking is now created. In case you need to edit the booking, you can click on the blue edit button and edit the booking. Once you have created a booking, let's take a look as to how you can manage it. On the top left of the booking, you will see the booking ID. Below the duties, you will see the activity log. Here you will see a list of all changes that have been made to the booking since the booking has been created. If you move your mouse over each section of the duty, you will see a few more details. Next, if you go to the large gear icon, from here, you can send the confirmation email and SMS or take a printout of the confirmation. You can also allot all the duties to a driver or supplier if this booking has multiple duties. If for any reason, this booking is no longer confirmed, you can mark it as unconfirmed from here. You can also export the duty data, attach any files that are required and also add advanced payments to the booking. In case you need to create a briefing sheet, you can do that here too. For completed duties, you can click on generate invoice to raise an invoice. And in case you made a booking by mistake, 
you can click on delete and delete the booking from this section. Before we show you how to manage a booking, let's take a quick look at the duties tab. The upcoming tab will show you a list of duties that are today and in the future. All the duties that are yet to be allotted are seen in the book tab. Once allotted, the duty moves to the allotted tab. Once the duty begins and the vehicle is dispatched, the duty will move to the dispatch tab. Once the duty is completed and closed, the duty moves to the completed tab. And once you've raised an invoice for the completed duty, that duty moves to the bill tab. All cancel duties are in the cancel tab and the all tab has all the duties that you have created. Now let's take a look at how you can manage a booking. To allot a booking, you can click on the green allot button or right click on the duty and click on allot vehicle and driver. Once the allotment pop-up opens, you can select from your drivers or allot the duty to one of your suppliers. Once allotted, you need to click on the green send info button. This will show you the pop-up window and let you send the allotment details to the driver and the customer. If you right click on the duty, you will be able to see the duty details. Add, remove labels, edit the duty, allot duty supporters and make changes to the duty allotment. You can also send the driver and the supplier location to your customer Print a copy of the duty slip, create a placard and also make an entry of any petty cash that was given to the driver for this duty. Once the vehicle is dispatched and the duty begins, you can right click on the duty and mark the duty as dispatched. This will change the duty status to dispatched. Once the duty is completed, click on close duty to enter in the duties details. You will need to enter in the duty start time, end time, the duty start kilometer and the duty end kilometer. Once you have done this, scroll down to enter in the billing items. Select a billing item from the drop down menu and enter in the pricing for that billing item. In case you have a scanned copy of the receipt, you can click on choose file and add it to that duty. If you need to add more billing items, click on add another item and follow the same process. In case you want to add a scanned copy of the paper duty slip, click on choose file and add the same. If you need to enter any remarks while closing the duty, you can do so in the remarks section. Once done, click on close duty. The duty will now be closed and a digital duty slip will be generated. The duty will be moved to the completed tab. Once you have completed the duty, you can go ahead and raise an invoice for the same. Before you can raise an invoice, you first need to set your company business code. You can set this in the master section under my company. To generate an invoice, use the large gear icon and click on generate invoice. Once you do so, you will see a pop-up with all the duties of that booking. Click on add duties. And you will see that the booking and all the billing items have been added to the invoice. If you set the taxes in the master section, the taxes will be added automatically to your invoice. Next, you can click on save invoice to generate the invoice. You can also add multiple bookings to a single invoice if required. Once an invoice is generated, Click on the invoice once again. On the top right, you will see an option to download a PDF copy of the invoice. 
take a printout of the invoice or send the invoice via email to your customer. To learn more about the different types of invoices you can create, click the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.